And right now, school officials are trying to figure out who is behind that threatening email sent to staff members at Granite Hills High School. And 10 News reporter Jessica Chen is there. And Jessica, the school had extra tight security today. That's right. School officials brought in extra police officers onto campus today. Now, police say the threat came from a person pretending to be a student here, though they say that threat doesn't seem to be very credible. I'm surprised because why would someone do that? Like Ellie Vasquez says he knew something was up when he saw an extra police officer on campus. I, mean, I thought it was just because we came up back in, from break and stuff. So. I didn't think that much about it. School officials say it's because several staff members at Granite Hills High School were sent an email last night from a person posing as a current student. I don't believe it. They made threatening remarks. Why would you do so much just to threaten teachers? Like, why would you fake to be a student? Like, I don't, I don't understand. Officials wouldn't say what the email said, but police say it doesn't appear to be credible. Still, students questioning why someone would do that. It could be someone getting attention, or it could be just somebody being threatening. I have, I have no idea. Probably like a student trying to get back at a teacher for bad grades. School officials wouldn't confirm if the emails were sent to teachers or administrators, but police are continuing to look into it. Now, other than an extra police officer on campus today, school officials say school here resumed as normal. In El Cajon, Jessica Chen, 10 News.